What's up everybody? So today we have a complaint about a freezer iced up and sure enough it is. Temperature still dropping but it says we're running about 28 degrees. So this is actually a callback and we're gonna have to figure out what's going on. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna verify sensors. So we're reading about 29, 29. As long as it stays there, we'll be good to go. We're reading this card there. All right guys, so we uh, put it into a, a manual defrost. On these beacon boards, all you gotta do is go to force defrost and that's what it'll do. So right now, it shows we're pulling about 4.7 amps on the defrost heaters. So this is your heaters right here. This is your fan relay. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got inside. I don't hear any sizzling like you generally would, but it might take a minute. So let's, let's throw the, uh, Let's throw the uh, thermal camera on here and see see what we can get. All right, guys, here we are. And there's the defrost heaters. Sorry about that. And it appears they're running. All right, guys, so the defrost heaters are working. You can hear a little bit of sizzling going on now. I can definitely feel the heat right here. Only thing I don't like about these, this design, and I've shown it in a different video, is it only has one heat strip, and it runs underneath the coil. And you got your high, your high limit right there, and. You need to see where the uh, defrost termination sensor is. All right, guys, on this side of the coil, we have our electronic expansion valve. It's a massive motor right here. <laughs> um, have our suction pressure transducer right here. And back here, we have our defrost termination sensor right there. So it's it's pretty, it's pretty high up there. It's nice up here uh, with, 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 as the, uh, coil gets defrosted up that'll be the termination set point of uh i think set point 65 so um i just took this cap off i'm gonna hook up my um my uh my probes and i'm gonna hook up a uh, suction line temperature sensor i mean a suction line clamp here and we're gonna verify that these are all accurate before we move anything else there's already been uh two guys out here um this board was changed not too long ago, and the last technician that was here said that the controller lost its programming, but from everything I can see, it looks good. So there's electric defrost, refrigerant, it is 404A, box temperature uh, set for 20 degrees. This is only an ice merchandiser. All they have here is ice, so it doesn't need to be at negative 10. Uh, Superheat set point is eight degrees. Uh, this is not a defrost termination set point is 65 degrees. You guys don't think I'm super smart that I know these things by memory. All you guys have to do is look up what's already here in front of you. You can see everything. This is how I'm gonna check my suction pressure, suction temperature, SST, everything. I'm not super smart guys, I just use what's in front of me. So uh, let's go ahead and monitor it through a defrost and then we'll see what happens. All right guys, I'm, I'm going over the, um, the readings that I'm getting right now. So for example, my suction temperature is 43 degrees. That is my suction line probe right here. And then SST is my saturated, suction saturated temperature, negative 13. 
I'll show you what I got on my probe. Suction pressure is 21. That's accurate in it. Uh, defrost temperature. This is the one that has me a little concerned. So defrost temperature says 55 degrees. And if you come over here, I have a my temperature probe. I mean this little UEI right inside where the defrost temperature sensor is. And I'm reading about 42. So we're about what, 10 degrees off? 13 degrees off. Um, that might be a reason why we're icing up. Maybe it's uh, terminating uh, defrost too early. And we got 42 degrees and we're right inside, right inside where that sensor goes. So 42 here, 56 here. All right guys, I think I found the problem. Possibly. So if we look at our monitor, monitor button right here. So our suction temperature, it says it's 45 degrees. That is a suction line temperature, 45. Take a look at this. 43. That's the defrost sensor. Now let's look at our defrost termination, defrost temperature says it's 59. Let me show you what I got on my measure quick. So I think what happened is when someone changed this board out, they ended up swapping the two sensors. See here's suction temperature and there's defrost temperature. That's about the only thing that makes sense right now. This, the controller is reading suction temperature here and defrost temperature here. Um, how does that affect my frozen? This is reading warmer. It's gonna terminate defrost faster and it's not gonna defrost the entire coil. Look at the entire coil, look the way it is. So we're gonna let it go through a full cycle of defrost before we move anything and I want to monitor what it's doing. So when you're the third guy out here, guys, you have to check every single thing. Every single thing, gents. All right, guys, so we're nearing our defrost cycle. It's reading 64 degrees, right? But we're actually only at 48 degrees. And I believe it just kicked out of defrost. 65. Look at how much ice we have left. Let's see if I can get a picture in there. Yep, it just shut our heaters off and look at how much ice we have left. So that is why it is fr uh, freezing up. It's not going through a complete cycle. It's not de-icing the entire coil. So right now it's gonna start refrigeration we're gonna freeze up again, and we're gonna freeze up again, and we're gonna freeze up again. Like I said, I just, I let it run through a cycle. I just wanted to see exactly what it was doing. And as you can see, we have a lot of ice left. Reading 65 degrees. This is the, the sensor that's at 65. So all we're gonna have to do is uh, change them over right here. Defrost temp and suction temp. And then we're gonna verify that our repair is good and we'll probably throw it into another defrost. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see it's in uh, drip mode or drain. Uh, where is it? DRN draining. So it's drip mode. They just call it draining on the, uh, on the beacon. So let's go ahead and change this up. There it goes. Valve just opened up. You can hear the refrigeration running. Look at all that, we still got a bunch of ice. So, let's go ahead and shut this off. And we're gonna go ahead and take this one right here. Defrost temp. Now, right now, I'm going off of just the temperature so I'm seeing. 
I don't actually know. Maybe both sensors are are incorrect. And I'm just going off a hunch. But we're gonna move the suction temp. I'm gonna move it up to the defrost temp, guys. There it is. And we're gonna move the defrost temp down to the suction temp. There we go. So now let's go ahead and verify our sensors. So right here, guys, uh, let me just start over. All right, so suction temperature, 41 degrees. Let me show you what I have on the measure quick. And let's go check out defrost temperature, 45. So as you can see, that worked, guys. Uh, we're definitely reading the right temperature now. All right, guys, so while I'm waiting for this defrost to finish, uh, 59 degrees, I decided to just start pulling on these sensors right here. And as you can see, this is the suction temperature sensor. Uh -huh. And as you can see right there, look. I'm pulling it, which is this one right here. And if you follow it, right there, suction temp. So they were crisscross error and made a mistake, which is what we are humans and we all make mistakes. So we're not gonna burn them. We're just gonna let him know that he swapped two wires and that was it. So we're almost gonna terminate guys, 60 degrees. And you can see we're looking a lot better. All right, guys, 65 degrees, termination set point. Let's go look what we have over here, 66. That is correct. Let's take a look at our coil one last time. Uh, we still got a little bit of ice at the very top. Uh, some on this corner. That's one, of the, that's one of the things that I think is a design flaw. Um, just one set of heat strips or one set of defrost heaters running just runs through the uh, through the bottom right there so I've seen that on a, on a couple of these convenience stores the top part of the coil won't de-ice completely so. pump spray guys hot water one of the best things you can do oh calm down for defrosting coils there. So we have a clear coil now. This coil's seen better days, but trust me when I say this, they don't like spending money. So, hi right, guys, you got a refrigeration on again. Got everything buttoned back up. And we're just gonna let it run. All right, guys, I wanna clarify one thing up before uh, we finish this call. This sensor right here is reading room temperature sensor. The air is actually being sucked in through this side and it gets blown out the back. So earlier when I said that this was reading discharge air, I was incorrect. So yeah, that's return. Air goes this way, goes through the coil, comes out the back. So current temperature is 28. We're gonna let it drop to 20 and satisfy, and we'll be good to go, guys. All right, guys, we're back in the freezer. We're at 20 degrees, we're satisfied. And no better way to get your coke nice and cold. Woo, put it in the discharge air. So we're good to go, guys. I'm gonna get out of here. Alright guys, as for that uh, ice merchandiser there at that convenience store, everything is good to go. Uh, just, you guys gotta verify your sensors, verify your sensor location, verify that the sensor's on the right input on the board, all that good stuff, man. That was an easy fix that uh, somebody could have uh, easily avoided, but it happens, man. We're all human. It happens. We all make mistakes, so... Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next service call. I'm on call tonight. We might see uh, two videos posting up here in the next uh, day or two. And uh, 
see what happens. But uh, thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. See you guys in the next one.